showed no will to fight. Uh, they were not outnumbered. Uh, in fact, they vastly outnumbered the opposing force. Uh, that uh, says uh, to me, and I think to most of us, that we have an issue with the will of the Iraqis to fight ISIL and defend themselves. As Newsmax Prime continues, we continue to cover that story. Defense Secretary Ashton Carter during an interview with CNN saying the Iraqi military showed no will to fight against ISIS. The defense secretary has gotten some backlash for his comments. Some experts saying that Carter could cause more harm than good in the region as the situation in Iraq continues to escalate. One man has a new book out that remembers some of the brave Americans who paid the ultimate price to ensure that the people of that region could live in peace and prosperity. Let's bring in that man. He is Brandon Webb. Brandon Webb, a Navy SEAL and author of the book Among Heroes, a U.S. Navy SEAL's true story of friendship, heroism, and the ultimate sacrifice. Brandon Webb, thank you for joining us on this Memorial Day. And when we hear comments like this from, from the defense secretary, what's your reaction? Yeah, to be honest, I, I think he's telling the truth. So for, for a little bit of candor to come out of Washington, D.C., I think is very refreshing. Well, speaking of candor, you obviously endured a lot, as did your comrades, to become Navy SEALs. As you look back on our involvement in Iraq and Afghanistan, how do, you, how do you reconcile the bravery of your comrades who paid the ultimate price with what appears geopolitically to, to now being turned by some in Washington as a mistake? I, I think this Memorial Day, it's, it's something that I've, I've reflected on that, that very thing. And, you know, I look at the, the eight guys and, and close friends that I write about and among heroes, uh, I'm reflecting today on, you know, as an American citizen now, what, you know, what, and I think everybody should ask themselves a the question, what we can do to make this country and, and the world a better, more safer place uh, so that not only the eight f friends of mine and among heroes uh, could be honored and remembered, but all the men and women who gave their lives since 9-11, uh, I just think we owe it to them to, to really reflect on this Memorial Day and, and think hard about what we're doing in the world and with our foreign policy um, and, and how to make America a better, better country and, and start holding a lot of our political leadership more accountable. Let me just put the question to you squarely, Brandon. Do you feel these eight Navy SEALs and others died in vain? No, I, I honestly don't believe so. I, I still believe in, in the mission. You know, after the, the terrorist attacks on 9-11, I, I, I truly believe that we went over there and made a difference. My, uh, my thoughts now are that, you know, the special operations troops in this country are only part of the solution. We really need to look at the, the fundamental root causes of, of this violent, uh, radical Islamic uh, movement that's out there and really start addressing it at the root cause because right now SOCOM is great at, at, at killing bad guys but we we're in this endless whack-a-mole game unless we really think hard and, and and kill the issue at the root. Two minutes remain Brandon I want to get back to your book and specifically the eight fallen seals why did you choose these eight? Sure, so these are eight of my closest friends and, you know, when I was on active duty, I, I made a decision to, to put off going to a lot of the memorials, actually all of them, uh, until I ended up losing my friend Glenn Doherty in Benghazi, Libya in 2012. And, yeah, I, I was out of the Navy at that time, but, but really it just, I was unable to avoid going, uh, not going to his memorial, and it, it just kind of all hit me uh, at once. And I, I said to myself, um, after talking with some of the family members and and they said look you, you should share these stories like some of these stories we haven't even heard of our own of our own sons and so I paused a, an existing project uh, that I was working on and called my agent and said look I need to write this book I need to honor honor my friends and, and tell their stories and, and and their legacies and preserve that so people can learn from them and, and benefit the same way that that their lives enrich mine I want people to read Among Heroes and, and really 
learn about these incredible men and, and hopefully they get the same takeaways and, and can make their own lives better. Brandon, in the final 30 seconds on this Memorial Day, what would you like fellow Americans to remember most? I think they need to remember the, the tremendous sacrifice every American has made since uh, the, the terrorist attacks in 9-11 and, and really on the, this Memorial Day reflect back on, on the many men and women that have given their lives and, and we owe it to them uh, to continue to, to hold our politicians accountable and, and think about what we can do to make this country a, a better place and the world a better place. And we will have to leave it right there. Brandon Webb, we thank you for your time this Memorial Day. Again, the name of the book, Among Heroes, a U.S. Navy SEAL's true story of friendship, heroism, and the ultimate sacrifice. Newsmax Prime will be back after this.